Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. Oh my God, you are good. You are good to me. You are good. Amen. Good evening, my special LHM tribe. I hope everyone is doing well. I am doing so, so much better. It was a full, full day, emotional and everything, but by the grace of God, here I am. So, Father, thank you so much in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I just love the way you lead me and guide me and comfort me. Amen. Our evening devotion is taken from John chapter 14, verse 26. The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. I prefer Holy Ghost. That way it scares that ghost, the ghost from that kingdom of darkness. <laughs> This age is especially the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It is the age in which Jesus chases us, not by his personal presence, as he would do in time, but by the indwelling and constant abiding of the Holy Spirit, who is evermore the comforter of the church. And we are the church, right? Okay. It is his role to console the hearts of God's people. He convicts us of sin. John chapter 16 verse 8. He illuminates and instructs also, but the main part of his work still lies in comforting the heart of the renewed, in confirming the weak, and in lifting up all those who are bowed down. He does this by revealing Jesus to them. The Holy Spirit consoles, but Christ is the consolation. If we can use this illustration, the Holy Spirit is a physician but Jesus is the medicine, medicine. The Holy Spirit heals the wound, but it is by applying the holy ointment of Christ's grace. The Holy Spirit will not speak of his own things, but of the things of Christ. The Holy Spirit is the comforter, but Jesus is the comfort. Ash. With such rich provision for his need, why should a Christian be sad and dejected? I wonder. The Holy Spirit has graciously agreed to be your comforter. Do you imagine, O oh, you weak and trembling believer, that he will be negligent of his sacred responsibility? Ha! Ah. We have suffered, I swear, in our confusion and dumb and dullness and everything. Whether we used to think that well, we can help the Holy Spirit or help God or help Jesus. Ah! Can you suppose that he has undertaken what he cannot or will not perform? If it is his specific work to strengthen you and to comfort you, do you suppose that he has forgotten his business or that he will fail in the loving role that he carries out on your behalf? Ha! Ah, have mercy. No, do not think so harshly of the tender and blessed spirit, whose name is the Comforter. He delights to give a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3. Trust in him, and he will surely comfort you until the house of mourning is closed forever, and the marriage feast has begun. Amen. Ah, Holy Spirit, we are ready. Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes, Holy Spirit, have your way in my life this evening. Let's go back safely. Bless us all, comfort us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.